hello everyone once again welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're most welcome and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming and thank you for always watching my videos i really can't take this for granted and for those of you who are still new here i welcome you so much uh, this is agriculture world happiness channel a channel which brings you all the agricultural news and all the farm updates so you make sure you give it a like and also make sure you subscribe if you haven't and if you have subscribed thank you so much please make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss on any other update and guys first of all i would like to apologize there's too much wind i hope it will not be uh, it will not interrupt with my audio because today i've not come with the uh the noise cancellation that's why you're seeing uh um I, it is nothing here and uh, i think I, I pray so much that the wind should not interrupt our audio. So guys, uh, and then the, uh, the video, let's continue the video. As I said, how we do it. So here in Denmark, I, it's also a rule that a farmer who plants the maize, you're supposed to intercrop your maize. And also, uh, though there are some farmers who also do it, even if it's not government rule, they also intercrop it because they are uh, animal farmers and mainly they are making their maize for uh, for silage so they also mean to intercrop it because at the end when they harvest the maize they'll also do what they remain with the with the grass so they are killing one bird uh, they are killing two birds with one stone so which means they're using the same field for doing two things so that is how we do so now how we do or how we intercrop it uh, first of all we plant our uh, first of all we plow the field very well and after plowing uh, we in fact we prepare general preparation we prepare the field very well make sure there's no weed before we plant uh, uh, the, the, the maize then when the maize has germinated then before it grows uh, taller then we uh, do what uh, we come and plant the grass and as you are planting, at the same time also, uh, there are some people who do, uh, they spray the weeds before the weeds are made, or they spray those more small weeds which are already existing in the field. They first spray it, then after spraying, then they come and do what? They come and plant their, uh, their grass. So that is how we do it. And normally we make it in the rows of the, uh, in the, rows of the maize. So at that, it, it does not intergrow, interfere the growth and such that also you don't remove the maize because it doesn't make sense for you also to intergrow or like uh, to intercrop in the lane of the maize or planting near the, the maize so always we leave some inches away from the, from the maize stalk so there's always at least some uh, good meters away from the maize but in the rows that's where we plant the, the grass now the reasons uh, why we intercrop it with the grass is, uh, as I told you, this is the grass which does not grow very tall. So which means when the maize has already grown, there's no way this grass will uh, will put competition on the maize. So that is uh, how it is, and that's the size of the grass. It grows shorter. So it's mainly for the forage. Now, uh, the reasons why we intercrop the grass with the maize, as I told you, the reasons may vary depending on how you want to do it or why you are doing it so at the end of this video we are going to be able to understand the whole story and how and why the whole thing is done so one reason why we do intercrop is is uh, the grass acts as the cover cover crop as we all know uh, when you are growing a crop for example the maize is uh, it's, be it's better for you either uh, to weed it properly to avoid uh, maybe the weed competition but for us here what we do is uh, it acts as the maize uh, the the soil cover because for example here in Denmark we only have one season and which means after summer what happens the ground or your soil is going to remain empty because during that time nothing grows because in winter nothing grows and the soil is left bare so the grass acts as uh, the cover crop which means it protects the soil from the soil resin or the agents like the wind and uh, the rain and uh, the, the soil resin so 
it protects the soil from soil erosion so that is uh, one of the reason and then the other reason is also uh, as i told you it reduces what we call the leaching we know the leaching is uh, when the nutrients are taken down uh, by the water under the ground so that is called the leaching so this soil, this grass which you planted here it stops that leaching which means the grass will be able to uh, to eat those nutrients or to enjoy the nutrients for the growth so it keeps the nutrients there and then it doesn't leach down so that is another reason and then also the other reason according to some farmers most of the farmers here and also according to the uh, condition of their soil because some soils are very loose in a way that they take uh, they can just be shocked within short time which means when it rains like this as you all know uh, summer here is the time when a lot of rain and uh, mostly here we harvest these things mostly when the rain is there because uh, when you are to cut this one for example this one for us we are going to be using it for, for making silage and I'm sure we are going to be harvesting it uh, during this uh, the summer and in the summer as I said there's too much rain so they always plant the grass there such that when they are driving over during the time for harvest the tires can at least get some um, resistance so that it doesn't sink down so that is another reason you know it's easier to drive on grass than driving uh, on the bare soil because the tire may easily go down and it will uh, destroy your soil and all those things so that's the reason why uh, a lot of farmers also do that and also there is also a uh, nutrient recycle so that is the third reason the nutrient recycle as i said uh there are people uh, there are farmers who plant it with different reason so for example uh you can say i'm planting mine because after that i'll have to plow it off which means as i said the grass will be the one the grass which you planted it will protect or it will reduce what we call the leaching which means in that process all the nutrients which remain in the soil the grass will be eating it and then after that maybe if you want to come back here and plant another crop so what you do is you come and plow it you plow the whole grass down so it's going to keep that nutrients and then it will boost your soil because remember just you are plowing the whole soil or you are plowing down the whole grass and the after plowing the whole grass down which means it's going to be uh, acting like your manure so it's like additional manure into your soil so that is uh, how and why we always uh, do this and that's why they advise a lot of farmers here in Denmark I always get a lot of information from the farmers so guys uh, people who are following me at least you know uh, what I always give out and I'm always grateful to you because some of you are trying and you always tell me you are always uh, taking the advice and it's working for you I thank you so much for giving me that positive uh, response or oh, uh, I really I know when you do something and someone gives you the the response you'll always know when it's positive this is okay and when it's negative this is not good so that is uh, why we always grow uh, we grow maize with the uh, with the grass and then also guys not only that one but we also say growing your maize with the grass is like shooting two birds at once so as my point number four I say the reason is because you don't have another time to plant so it means uh, it reduces um, let me say uh, time wasting you will not waste time again to say let me let me first wait for the maize to grow and then I come again I plant the grass because I will need forage here because I will need this grass here for making silage in future or because I will need to develop this uh, place in the future for growing the grass for the cows or for your animals so which means in the process when you are planting the maize again immediately you plant your your grass so after the, uh, the maize after you harvest your maize this grass is going to be acting as now it's going to be your forage now already established you know just remember you're cutting the whole grass uh, the whole maize down then immediately uh, after cutting the maize you know the maize cannot grow again right it's always one for the road after you, you harvest that one is done the stock will dry so the maize 
then therefore leaves the space for the grass to uh, to grow up. So that's the reason why people always do it because they feel like I must plant my maize together with the grass, such that when I plant, when I remove the maize, or when I harvest the maize, then the grass will pick up. You know, though during the winter time it will not be uh, active, the maize will, uh, it will not grow. The grass will not grow because it will just remain there, but it will not die. Because this grass we are planted here, this grass takes up to around four years. It will be here. You will always keep on harvesting it each and every uh, season. When it comes to summer, you at least harvest it from three to four times, depending on uh, how much rain you have, how much sun you have, and how much time you have. But uh, here I think we have always harvested it like four times. So that is the beauty. So that is the reason why we always do intercrop our maize with the uh, with the with the grass so the other reason uh, which is going to be the last one and uh, that is uh, suppressing the the weeds so as i told you uh, everything you are doing right now here you're looking at how to deal with the weeds and the lot so this grass you planted here this grass it will uh, suppress your weeds the weeds which you don't want in this garden it's going to suppress them because remember when this grass grows up it will cover the whole area it will cover the whole soil so as i said when you're intercropping you have the reason in your mind that i'm doing this because i want uh, to develop this area uh, after harvesting the maize i want this area to remain as uh, my grass field which i'm going to use for forage or which i'm going to be using for the animal feed so in that process also this grass will suppress all the unwanted weeds which are supposed to come up so it suppresses them therefore that is the advantage and even at this time as we have grown here there's no way as i said this grass can overtake this maize here because it doesn't grow too tall it all, all the grows uh, short at least this inch here and then we harvest again we keep on harvesting it so that is the reason and that is uh, the reason why people always uh, like or oh, most farmers also do plant their maize and they, they intercrop it with the grass so guys thank you so much for watching it up to this time and i still uh, appreciate it and please make sure you you subscribe if you haven't because you are missing a lot and as i as, as i told you when you uh, subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on your notification bell and after turning on your notification bell then uh, you are good to go just relax because any day someone posts the video like this then you're just going to get the, uh, the notification bell or you're just going to get the notification that oh agriculture world happiness has posted this video so you just open there and you are going to be able to watch the video and of course as i as i told you i like you guys you're my fans i like you so much always give the video a like because giving the video a like it, um, it makes the video to be selected or to be sent out to different people and the video will be able to reach different places so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one